All right, it is time. That's right, it's time to talk about all the stuff, all of the stuff. And here's, oh, excuse me, my voice is cracking. I must be going through puberty. <clears throat> Drink a coffee. Yeah, it'll grow you up. Ah, uh, here we go. There you go. Best thing of waking up is some, um, oh, I can't say it, some fornicate you in your cup there. I guess the good news uh, is that the cup's totally washed out, so we can't see the naughty words on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a statement to make, and here's my statement. My statement is uh, that you people in America, maybe not you specifically, but people in America uh, who follow student of the gun socialist media, you need to get your crap together. I'm going to give you a fantastic example. Just This is just based on numbers. So last week was about seven days ago, six days ago, whatever. Uh, I asked a question. We, we talked on the show. Which show was it, Jared? I, don't, I have no idea. We, it was the show. Uh, we talked on the show about uh, this accidental deaths or, or the, the leading cause of accidental injury and death in the United States uh, is either it's either automobile accidents or falls. They, they kind of go neck and neck. Now, there's not much I can I can do about falling. I mean, I can't do much about gravity. Um, but we can do something about the automobile crashes, right? And I, I, I uh, opined. I said, why aren't automobile manufacturers equipping their vehicles with active safety measures? Not passive, but active. Uh, something that you could do. And so we shared, and of course, it's going to be, this freaking internet's going to be stubborn here, but um, we shared a photo. I shared a photo of the uh, kit, of the medical kit, and this isn't going to work if I can't get this stupid fascist book to open up, but uh, I shared that, and it got a moderate response, right? I don't have the exact numbers. You have the exact numbers? Jared can pull up the exact numbers. So, yeah, go ahead and... Uh, Pull, go, scroll down to that picture, that image right there. This down. One. No, no, down. Over. That. Now, just give me, just just click on it so we can get the post. What was the engagement? Are you logged in as, as uh, the? I'm not logged in, I don't think. Oh, see, because what I want is I want the engagement. Numbers. Well, there's only three comments and one share. Well, I know, but that's not engagement. Engagement is like how many? So... Well, isn't that, what else can you do? Oh, okay, so there's like likes and stuff. You have 30, yeah. 31, only 31 reactions, three comments, and one share. Okay, so 31 reactions, three comments, and one share. Now, keep in mind, that is a post that's designed to inspire thought and to kind of lead you in the right direction, kind of in a, a life-saving direction, shall we say, right? That is a post that could potentially help you save the life of yourself or someone you love. You'd think that would be important, and you'd think that people would be interested in it, right? You're like, oh, this is a post that inspires me to, to potentially save the life of my family and my children. Now, that's, is that important? Oh, look at that. It linked our pocket lifesaver. Yeah. So is that important? Saving the lives of your your spouse and your children and the yes. passengers in your car. Is that an important thing? Eh, it's about it's about three comments and one share worth of important, right? Three comments. So three people commented on the post of the traumatic kit where I said, Hey, do you have a kit in your car in the event of a crash? Right? So I, so that's a photo. I put up this photo right here, and I, I, uh, it's just a little snarky that I said we're still waiting for an explanation as to why there are Braille uh, letters on the drive-through ATM. Yeah. What's the number of comments? Jeez. seventy-one comments, twenty-two shares. Seventy-one comments. So we post a picture that it's just a single picture, not a video. Both of them are just pictures and about, do you have a traumatic medical kit? Is this something you, you know, blah, blah, blah. Three comments, one share. A stupid picture of the face of an ATM with Braille 
Seven, how many comments? 77? 71. 71 comments. 71 comments, 22 shares. And so I said, okay, I was comparing those numbers. I'm like, all right, well, both of those are pictures. They're not instructional, right? They're those, you know, they're, it's not like a picture could save your life or not save your life. So I said, well, tell you what I'll do. I, in my mind brain, I said, I'll share an actual a video, an actual piece of instruction. So the total reach. I, I just, hold on. I just figured out why. Why? Because the post impressions for the medical were 2,449. That's very, very low. 20, 2,400 impressions. Yeah. Which means that it showed up in 2,400 people's feeds. Or it showed up that many times in feeds. Could have been the same person twenty four hundred times. Yeah. So the the Which the ATM crazy, one well, fifteen thousand. Yeah. But and part of that is because of the engagement. Right. Because of the engagement. The more it's engaged, the more impressions. So I thought, well, let me share something actual instructional. So I put up the rain safety drop fumbled guns. This is a video. This is three or four minutes that literally, not figuratively not hypothetically, literally could save your life or the life of someone else. Total impressions, drum roll please. 808. 808 impressions, 22 engagements, no shares, no comments. You can extrapolate from that what you will, but I would say that Americans need to get their priorities straight. Need to get the priorities straight. All right, welcome to Student of the Gun. Zach's going to roll the music, and we're going to jump right into it. Welcome to Student of the Gun Radio, proudly brought to you from the SDS Import Studio. If you want quality that's affordable, visit sdsimports.com. We don't just talk guns and gear. We also discuss current events and politics because guns are politics. Now sit back and listen louder to your co-host, CEO of Full 30, Jared Markle, and your beloved host, the pimp hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. All right, all right, all right. If you're in the Discord, this is the moment that I remind you that... uh, the boys will monitor the questions, and if we think they're valid, we will jump in at the end and answer them. All right, I've got a question for you guys, especially you freaks who are in the Discord channel right now paying attention because you guys are hardcore dedicated people, and I'm glad that you're out there. So, freaky deekies, well, first, Zach, play the Duracode intro music. All right. All right. So Duracoat finished firearms of the week. This is the question I'm going to ask you guys. Uh, first, I'll start out with a statement. There are many schools and organizations uh, in our firearms training firearms world will adopt an official camouflage scheme, right? They'll use an official camouflage pattern or whatever. So when they when they need a camouflage or they're doing images or whatever, They'll pick one and stick with it. I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. Thinking? I've been thinking. I be thinking. I'm like uh, George Wallace. I be thinking. So, as we move forward with Student of the Gun University, uh, should we do an official Student of the Gun camouflage pattern? And if so... Hmm, what should it be? What should it be? Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? You, you think that we should? You think it's a dumb idea? It's a silly idea? It's a great idea? Uh, what was your, your favorites? And I want to stick away from, I want to stay away from the obvious stuff, you know. I think we should do mm. a tiger striped mm, see that's a little bit obvious though i think tiger stripe is digitals obvious. and tigers are a little bit obvious you should do a digital tiger stripe a digital tiger yeah. is, is that even possible i don't know 
I don't know. It would be. It, it would, would take some skill. I'm sure. Mm. It would take some creative skills. Yeah. I, I, well, the, that's the thing is it can't be super complex because it's going to need to be simple enough to use on everything, you know, on, on in, in digital logos, you know, on actual physical products, whatever. So I was, that's what I'd be thinking. I, I'd be thinking about that. And and if anybody can help me do that, it's Zurico. And I, I will admit to you, I was remiss this week. I was going to go and look at all the different uh, badass colors, and I just didn't get to it. I didn't get to it. Well, when you start from starting mm -hmm. to look at the colors, you'll be looking for the rest of your life. Yeah. If you go through everything. Well, I mean, the badass colors, I think there's only. Oh, the badass Yeah, colors. how many badass colors does Steve have? Uh, Duracoat badass. I think we should open one more tab. I know. Uh, let's see. Duracoat yes. Firearm Finishes. So if you are following along, you can go to DuracoatFirearmFinishes.com, hover over the Coatings tab, Duracoat, and then Duracoat Badass. Click that link, and it takes you there. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors. Mm. You know what Steve didn't do? Black Hawk Coyote Tan. Before he left us, he didn't figure out a way to make it come out of the can for you camouflaged <laughs> oh, that's funny <laughs> <laughs> just shh, he's like guys i made it easy it comes out is in three yeah. different steve you should have put three <laughs> different colors in the single in the one can and when i shook it up it shh, comes out <laughs> that's funny <laughs> You know, that's probably how the the people who think that you can go out and buy a fully semi-automatic gun that should be banned, that's probably how they think camouflage works. Just like, and it comes out like that. That would be cool. Yeah. That's how it works in, in uh, Warner Brothers or Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> Stock so, red. You could do your guitar. Mm, yeah. That looks more like a, like a burnt orange. Royal blue. Royal blue. This one is red. Blue. Royal blue. All right. So that is the. I was just thinking. There's HK black. HK black. Yeah. It's, it's slightly. Is there slightly darker? Mad magpole fl flat dark earth. Mm. Matte black. The best black of all is slightly darker black. Yes. You can get slightly darker black. It does actually say slightly darker black on the can and you can get that uh from duraco that was a a mutual that was a mutual braining between us and them so. is it a standard color or a tactical color uh i don't know it, type it in the search engine type in slightly darker black and find it but i know it's there i know it's there yes you can uh, well it's in the black ha Found yeah. it slightly darker. If you black. go to the blacks, it's in the you standard can find colors, it. blacks, aerosol application is where I found it. I went That's to, right. I went to Durco, standard colors, clicked on the first product. And uh, and if you guys are going to do something in black and you're not doing it in slightly darker black, I don't want to see you no more. That's pretty funny. That's right. I don't want to see you no more. <laughs> oh, SDS Imports. What's SD been your favorite gun from them that you've shot so far? Oh. Well, the uh, the the Gen three, the the uh, the the X Gen three. Um, Is that the Tsas? Yeah, the 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 the, the Tsas Gen three um, is is a really good pistol. That's a really good pistol. The nineteen uh, eleven? No, no. The the PX nine. The PX nine Gen three. Gen three. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I was like. I uh, that one's really good. The the uh, the the compact forty five that they call the where's the compact forty five? Pull it up. Uh, that one right there. The Bantam. The Bantam. The Bantam is a really it's it's, it's an insanely well built stock pistol. It's built like a custom, but it's a factory gun. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's really it, it was very impressive. I was impressed by it. So I'm uh, very surprised. That you didn't say the 1911A1 U.S. Army pistol. Mm. Well, uh, that it's it has a sentimental, you yeah, know. That's why I'm surprised thing in my heart. But yeah. and it's a good gun. Uh, it's a really good gun for what it is. Uh, it's just there. 
And, and of course, I'm really impressed, actually, by their uh, VP-12 shotgun, the magazine-fed Kalashnikov-style shotgun. Uh, is a is really good. I was very impressed by that. So there you go. So they have some they have some really impressive guns. Do they have the, the was that a talker of? Yeah, I think it's a talk. Oh crap! Um, but either way, the boys over at SDS Imports got a lot of good guns, and there are bros. So you should uh, you should go ahead and there you go. VP twelve. That's it's ah. fantastic. A uh, fantastic semi-automatic shotgun. You can get all this information and yeah. links to these firearms at sdsimports.com. That's right. There's a menu at the top that says TSS Pistols, Takarov USA Shotguns, and Firearms. Mm. You know what the boys over at High Point did this week? What? They released a, a an image on their Instagram socialist media oh, of no. the new gun. Did they really? Yep. They did. Uh, they the the Yeet Cannon the 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 YC Niner, uh, they released it on Instagram image as a teaser. There it is. This one, this one. No, no, no. That one. That's uh, the new one. That's old. That's first. new. Okay. Yeah. See how yeah. new it is. Wow, different that, magazines, okay. different grips, slick. threaded barrel, all that stuff. They're changing the way that High Point is going to be perceived. Oh man, it's only taken well maybe. three years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it would have been out in 2020 if you Americans wouldn't have decided to cave to your criminal government and hide in your houses and hide behind your masks and shut down your businesses and act like a bunch of scared little children for two years. Uh, it would have already been out. But since you decided you wanted to hide in your houses and behind your masks and allow the government to uh, to basically treat you like an abused uh, like an abused spouse you allowed your government to commit domestic violence against you so uh, otherwise that would be out right now and i'm right and if you don't think i'm right you're wrong and you need to get better taste you need to actually yeah you know what you need to do you need to eat some animal fat so your brain will function better all right moving on <clears throat> man the I got the uh, in my throat today. Got the uh, in your throat. Mm. Well, that's good. We can. Uh, got the. Uh, if you want to go to watch all of the history of student of the gun videos? You can go to Juxy.com. That's right. Go to the student of the gun channel. On there, it's easy. You go to Juxy.com, J-U-X-X-I.com. Search for student of the gun. Click on the channel, and all the videos will be there. And subscribe, you weirdos. Yeah, subscribe there. We need heavier engagement, more engagement, better engagement. They're on Juicy than we have on Facebook, so you're the uh, only one that can make that happen. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's a headline. The Louisiana abortion ban temporary restraining order has been extended. What does that mean? Don't know. Didn't read the article. I know, but that's a title. So what do you extrapolate from that title? The Louisiana abortion ban temporary restraining order has been extended. How do you extrapolate? Oh, you, so, you know, so, English is hard. Yeah. And I saw a... We, we don't write headlines anymore for yeah. comprehension. It's for clickbait. Yeah. Uh, so I wrote, uh, I saw a headline from the Daily Wire, who should know better. It said, Elon Musk's father has child with his stepsister. So, if you diagram a sentence, did you guys learn how? Did you learn how to diagram sentences in school, or did they just skip over that part? Yeah, we learned. Okay, so Elon Musk's father has child with his stepsister. Now, so who, based on that sentence, just those words, not what you would infer, not what you would imply, just based on those words. That's all you have to work with. What is or who is the subject of the sentence? Elon Musk's father. The father. So the father, the the previous is Elon Musk. That's a descriptor. Yeah. But father is the subject. And then so the word the his, his should would imply to, the, to father. the father. So I said, I, I saw that headline. I'm like, so it was the father's stepsister? Well, it's not. If you read the story, it's not, but the way the headline is written, 
in the, using the English language, the subject is father. His indicates the subject, refers back to the subject, meaning that it's, because when I first read it, I was like, so this dude's pretty old. Yeah. And he's having a baby with his, his stepsister? Oh, uh, no. It's Elon Musk. So the, the even the Daily Wire is is they're having you know what they're doing they're, writing they're having the millennials and gen z's write their crap yeah they're writing for the algorithm yeah they're they're writing for we no longer write for humans we, we write, write for, for retards yeah. yeah we write so we're, that more people can we're writing for retards more in front of more people than it would but does that actually help yes it does it does absolutely yep. i've seen mm. data and uh. i've actually been part of do well, while you guys go ahead and subscribe to our Juxy channel, and I'm watching the numbers, and if you don't do it, I'm, I don't want to see you no more. Uh, Zach is going to let you know what you should do, especially if you're a new listener. Yeah, you. I'm pointing at you. All five fingers. Attention, new listeners. We produced a complimentary online training course called Seven Training Tips That Could Save Your Life. Get instant access by joining the Student Lounge for free at studentofthegun.com. Do you watch Student of the Gun TV, read the blog, and follow us on Facebook? If you answered no to any of these questions, you are wrong, but you can easily fix yourself. Go to studentofthegun.com to find everything SOTG. Yes, indeed. That's what you should do. That's what you should do. All right. It is time. And we are right now, right up to our Brownells bullet points of the week. And if you guys have not signed up for their, um, uh, it's not, not email, um, their text notifications, you can text BRN to five, five, six, two, two, three. And when they have sales and discounts, they will send you a message. They do not spam you. But every once in a while, especially over holiday weekends and so forth, they'll send you, they're like, hey, this is in stock. It's on sale. Do you want it? Yes or no? If no, then go do something else. But uh, you should text BRN to 556223. And we're going to talk about the topic after Zach plays the music. All right, bing, bang, boom. Uh, that is the Brownells Bullet Points intro music. How are your med supplies or your medical gear supplies? How are you fixed for med gear? What are they looking like? Uh, we're teaching a Beyond the Band-Aid uh, class this coming weekend. And so what I did is I went and I, I actually pulled out the totes totes but goats and i inventoried them to see what we had uh as far as tourniquets and pressure dressings and nose hoses and speaking of which zach are you there i'm here hi what's up all right here's what i need you to do tell me oh uh, right get out a piece of paper and a pen and i want you to write down npa on it nasopharyngeal airways because the it. one thing i noticed that we did not have in our kit was new fresh in the packaging npas we have some npas you know the ones that you hold up and you show the audience and you're like this oh uh, but if we're going to stick it in someone's head uh i want it to be new from the package because it's it's jared it's your head that it's going into just yeah. so you know it's good <laughs> I like to do. <laughs> you could get it in this now. That would be fantastic. I would be able to breathe. Uh, so, yeah, the nasal pharyngeal airways. The reason I'm bringing this up is I don't know what you guys have been doing lately, but if you're one of the, well, yeah, I'm going to buy some medical gear and, you know, eventually I'm going to get around to it. And I know. Here's the deal. Uh, I don't know. Thanks to the 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 pseudo the 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 media war in in Ukraine, it's a real war. Yeah, okay. There's lots of wars. There've been wars going on in the United States. Hell, uh, fifty thousand people in Africa were slaughtered. The Americans didn't pick up. How many fingers did it, did the American government raise or lift to save the people in Africa that were being slaughtered? Oh, that would be zero. <laughs> Well, because we're not laundering at money in Africa, 
We don't we're, we're not care about them. So what, what, how do we, how do we decide who we care about? Like, is it just cause they're white people? Oh, that's racist. Is it racist for me to bring it up? Or is it racist for it to happen? What do you think, Jared? So if, if we let a hundred thousand Africans get slaughtered and we do nothing about it and Russia invades Ukraine and we lose our minds and we have to like, even though we're in, we're in complete upside down debt, we're just going to write checks. Do you ever Same wonder how that works? How is it that a country that is a trillion dollars in debt, that means we're in the red, right? That means the bank account That's good though. It's it? the That's bank account's not zero. It's below zero. So it's trillions below. We we would have to put a trillion dollars into the bank to get back to zero. And but we're gonna pass spending bills and send money to Ukraine. Um okay. But my point is, regardless of why the circumstance occurred, there's a shortage on certain things, again, in the medical care field. Uh, we went to look up tourniquets. Uh, the, was it My Medic? My Medic, who owns oh, Rats Tourniquets? I believe they own Rats Tourniquets, yep. yes. Out of inventory, out of stock. I want to buy some, I want to buy Rats TQs. Nope can't do it check right now out of stock to... uh the super inexpensive they're not great but they're super inexpensive uh tk4s nope zach what's going on with tk4s they don't exist anymore they don't exist well, like, anymore they're discontinuing them y'all might have noticed that on the y'all it, it's been a month so i can say this now uh the student kits are no longer on the store that's because we were out for a long time i finally found some they didn't work and so they, they just don't exist anymore apparently so yeah. Now, now the uh, now we just have, have the original. Have up. you tried packing the new TQ from you know who in that? I have not. No. Do you have one? I'll talk to you about this later. Okay. okay. Because that might work. That might work. Because we need student kits. We do. Uh, we're gonna have to raise the price of them a little bit, but we need student kits. That's an important thing. My point is this. Guys, inventory your medical gear. And you say, well, I've, I've had a, a med bag for years. Have you been using stuff out of it? Is it a family med bag? Has your family been opening it up and using stuff? Did they pull out the tape and use it for stuff? Did they use the gauze for stuff? Did they, you know, you got to inventory that crap. Every once in a while, you need to go in there and you need to inventory it and you need to make sure that you have everything you need because what kind of we're living in a world where snap of the fingers boom all of a sudden overnight things can go out of stock they just do i mean look what happened during the vid we we couldn't we had a hard time finding gloves we couldn't find freaking nitrile gloves now fortunately gloves are back in stock um but for a while they weren't tqs out of stock you know all this stuff you need to make sure and now some of you out there you're looking at me you're like okay well do you have a list of things that i should have well you should buy a pocket lifesaver do we have any pls's in stock sack yes indeed we do we have pocket lifesavers uh original enhanced and the combat lifesaver all available right now on shop .com. okay yeah you should you should absolutely have at least one pocket lifesaver if not more um uh, but uh, the best way to know what you should have is to take training. Would you not say that is a, a good assessment, Jared? Is yes. that a fair assessment? Yes, you go to a training class and then you will learn. That's kind of like, uh, well, which widgets and gadgets and gadgets should I bolt onto my rifle? None until you get training. Then go to a training class and then you'll know. You'll know. Master the use of the rifle. Or that's right with just regular sights yeah and then uh then you'll figure out what you and you'll know you optimize that's the right. process so uh my brownells bullet points advice for you guys today 
is you need to get into your medical kit, whether it's your small kit, big kit, if you've got a big red family bag, whatever it happens to be, you need to inventory that sucker and make sure that you have everything you need because, you know, I sometimes I'm shocked. I, I you know, I'll go to a, you know, go to order something. And they're like, oh, that's, those are all out of stock. I'm like, what? Yeah, those are all out of stock. We don't have any more. Like, um, okay. All right. Uh, and also the, uh, the doopity doo doo. If you go to Brownells and you hit the emergency and survival gear tab, top row trauma kit echo systems emergency trauma kit this is a big blowout kit and and it's good to have a blowout kit the problem with these great big blowout kits is they don't fit in your pocket which means it's probably not going to be on your body uh you can put something like that in a car although ready man has a an empty bag that you can fill with stuff for what 20 bucks or something like that it's a good empty trauma bag um, that's what I have in the truck. That's what I took a picture of. Uh, but either way, whatever you do, get training and get the gear. Get the training, get the gear. And my advice to all of you guys out there is don't wait. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, if I ever need it, I'll buy it. Mm, that's not how that works. <laughs> if I ever need a gun, I'll go buy one. No, you'll, you'll be dead and then someone else will buy it. All right, now is the time. The time is now for you guys to uh, perk up your ears and listen to what Zach has to say. SOTG.com is the perfect place to go if you are a student of the gun. Whether you want to expand your brain, increase your marksmanship, or help keep your family safe. All that, plus the pimp hand brands that you love. Shop SOTG.com has almost anything that an American patriot would want education, enlightenment, and entertainment, and we're open 24-7. Check out shopsotg.com today and see for yourself. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You should do that. I recommend it. It's fantastic. Zach does a great job. All right. Student of the Gun Homeroom is brought to you by Crossbreed Ulsters and the primary focus of this program. Well, this segment is to be dangerous on demand. How can you be dangerous on demand? Well, you actually carry your friggin' gun. I know it's a novelty. It's a novel idea. It's crazy. You're like, what? Carry my gun? I'm not looking for trouble. I'm not expecting trouble. Mm, okay. Uh, our boys, somebody said to me, someone opined in one of our socialist media things, like, well, I, I, I know you're always talking about the, the Super Tuck Deluxe, but that doesn't work for women and women need other options and so they should go somewhere besides crossbreed and i said mm, you person who made that assumption should probably listen a little bit louder because if if you jared have you followed crossbreed socialist media lately i have not been on social media. um they're they have spokes chicks they have spokes chicks um, and spokes, I guess, women, uh, spokes girls, whatever. They're promoting their women's handgun options all the time, like every day. Uh, yeah, look, go to their social. If you go to their Instagram, it's, there's pictures of chicks with guns uh, all the time. They have options. They've got lots of options. So if you're a chick out there, if you're if you're a lady, um, yet before you like, well, I mean, yeah, they have they have gun, they have holster for men, but they don't have stuff for women. Yeah, they do. The Instagram page is crossbreed underscore holsters. Crossbreed underscore holsters. Yeah. So look at that. Okay, look, a woman demonstrating how she could carry a gun. All right, you scroll down a little bit more. Look, another woman. Look, another woman, and another, and another. And the, look, there's a woman. There's a woman right there. Uh, women. There's women all over this thing. They're like, well, yeah, uh, you know, crossbreed's nice for men, but they don't have anything for women. Yes, they do. Now, here's the good news. Whether you are a woman or a man or uh, you're confused, doesn't matter, because you can go to crossbreedholsters.com, use the promotional code SOTG, and save some money. And then listen to the music. All right.
right. Dangerous on demand. Carry your freaking gun. There's a fantastic example of several things. Number one, uh, I'm, I've been seeing this story, and it says, four dead Indiana mall shooting. That is when the media doesn't have a big enough number, so they have to throw the dead perp in there to bump the number up because four is more than three, right, Jared? Mm. It's like when uh, the Columbine thing happened and they threw the two dead monsters into the into the death numbers. That's not right. That's not right. So, uh, Jared... Go ahead and and hip us all to this story here. This is just breaking news. It broke last night. I was just looking up what they consider a definition of a uh, mass shooting, and it is when four or more people are struck by gunfire. Really? Are struck by gunfire. Ah. So I'm wondering. Uh, so this says, the, tit- the actual title is Three Dead in Indiana Mall Shooting Witnesses Kills Gunmen. They changed the title. They did. Because originally it said it said yeah. four dead in three people were fatally shot and two were injured Sunday evening at an Indiana mall after a man with a rifle opened fire in a food court and an armed civilian shot and killed him. Jared, pause real quick. Didn't Indiana just pass constitutional, constitutional carry yeah, after and didn't the Indiana the chief or chiefs of yeah. police? come out and rail against there was it one specific guy i can't remember what his title was if he mm-hmm. was a state employee or yeah well, i guess police or state employees he too, wasn't right? it he was the it seems to me check my mind brain that it was the head of the indiana police union that came out against is concealed is doug here listening right now no he's not dang it he would know the answer oh doug would know that your indiana guys would know but go on go on uh, the man entered the green. Yeah. The man entered the Greenwood Park Mall with a rifle and several magazines of ammunition, and began firing in the food court. That was what Greenwood Police Department Chief Jim Eisen said. A 22-year-old from a nearby Bartholomew County, who was legally carrying a firearm at the mall, shot and killed the gunman. Hey, man! Nice shot. Four of those hit by gunfire were females, and one was a male. He didn't immediately know the specific gender or age of those who were killed and that's by he what what kind of weird word verbiage is that you mean masculine feminine neutral here we go we have a professional journalism we have the associated press using the word gender incorrectly Uh, when you're talking about the human animal there's two and it's sex it's not gender there's three uses of the word gender masculine feminine and neutral this doesn't apply here because it's not. We're talking not talking about the written or spoken language. We're actually talking about human animals. But I digress. He said a twelve-year-old girl was among the two injured, both of whom are in stable condition. So it says four of those hit by gunfire, but twelve-year-old girl was one among the two injured. Mm. That those, that math doesn't add up. So that's weird. Well, the other ones were dead, I assume. But there were, it says there were three dead, so that's a total of five. But, okay. Uh, police confiscated a suspicious backpack that was in a bathroom near the food court. Officers went to the mall about 6 p.m. for reports of the shooting. So let's pause right there. Sunday evening, 6 p.m., mall. How many people out there in my audience have concealed carry permits or you live in a state where you, you are just a citizen and you can carry a gun? But you don't because why, Jared? I'm just going to the mall. I'm just. Uh, it's Sunday. It's nobody Sunday. Will, nobody will do that on Sunday. What could happen? It's Lord's Day. Um, it's it's daytime. I there mean, are a whole the, the sun myriad. doesn't go down till nine o'clock. So yeah, there's a whole myriad of excuses. Um, I don't go to bad neighborhoods. I don't go to places where I shouldn't be. Uh, we've heard this literally, not figuratively, for years, decades. People say, well, I don't go to places I shouldn't be. Well, what would would that the mall be a place you shouldn't be? Uh, I don't I don't go to bad neighborhoods. Uh, oh, 
okay is this a bad neighborhood is this a place people shouldn't be i don't go to i don't go to bars i don't go to stupid places and do stupid things with stupid people so were the people in the mall that day in stupid places doing stupid things with stupid people Mm, no i'm gonna say no that's a good base rule to have Uh, yeah well it's a good base rule for like living as a human but here's what people do and this is i know the human animal like every square inch of my glorious naked body and the human animal is constantly looking for excuses not to do the right thing the human animal is constantly looking for an excuse not to do the right thing. That's not true. Because the right thing requires yeah, effort. That's not true. Okay, and whatever. In this context, carrying a firearm is the right thing. That it's the true. right thing. People don't carry guns because, well, I I don't go out looking. How many? I don't go looking for trouble. Okay. Yeah. That's that's somebody that is at the beginning of their journey of or firearms. not necessarily there, there there is we there know people zero people that i know that have mastered the craft that say those words we oh really yeah. you don't know the the that phallus have, with ears that have mastered the craft I who said. teaches people to carry guns but doesn't the carry there are zero people that i know that have mastered the craft that say those words right but there are people out there that portray in our themselves world as if they have mastered the craft. they they portray themselves as firearms instructors who don't actually carry guns yeah so kudos to this guy so this is what we know from this story number one the story's not done yet good guy with a gun stops bad guy with a gun number two uh indiana where the chiefs where they put out stories where law enforcement is 100 percent against uh there were there well it's going to be the wild west and people are going to be killing each other over parking spaces and da, 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 da. Uh, the, that's why the police are there no it's not uh the real hero yeah oh whoa 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 i need to give credit to this journalist because uh, well, Eisen says that the real hero of the day is a Who's, citizen that lo- was So lawful. that was the chief, the chief of police. Yeah. Lawf- Let me finish the thing. It says the real hero of the day is a citizen that was lawfully carrying a firearm in that food court and was able to stop the shooter almost as he as soon as he began. That was the chief of police, Eisen. Now, the person that wrote this article uh, said this next paragraph, and I have to give credit to them. What was their name? Their name is uh, Associated Press is their name. doesn't say the mass shooting was just the latest to unnerve americans in 2022 schools churches grocery stores and a july 4th parade in highland park illinois have all become killing grounds in recent months and then this is an important distinction here it says still the reality of america's staggering murder rate can often be seen more clearly in individual deaths that rarely make the news which is true the things that the news report on are only the the big things that that affect less people, I guess it would be the right term to say. So Eisen is the police chief. And he said that the real hero of the day is the dude that shot the shooter. He shot the sheriff, but not the deputy. That's right. You know who we need to find Jared and, and interview. We need to find, uh, we got a story here and we, we student of the gun, keep you informed of this, uh, from February 25th, 2022, right after they passed they passed it constitutional carry in indiana isp superintendent blasts gop on constitutional ISP carry bill that's who it was okay. indiana state police superintendent uh and he said let's get a let's get a quote from this uh phallus with ears this uh doug carter He said, it is often easy to talk about your support for public safety, but if you choose to support this bill, you're not supporting us. Who's us? Uh, The the popo. We called this guy out. We called this guy out for his elitism. And we asked him, and we asked like, so you as a Indiana State Police Superintendent, you should be held personally responsible if someone is murdered 
and you don't stop it from happening. Well, no, of course not. The Supreme Court says that that the police can be on the other side of the door while you're being murdered and do nothing, and they're held harmless. So on one hand, we have police officers who say, citizens carrying guns is the worst possible thing you could do it it puts our lives in danger and it does nothing for public safety and you say okay so you're responsible for keeping people safe and if anybody gets hurt or shot or murdered or raped it's your responsibility and you're liable no we're not the court says we are held harmless so you want the people disarmed And you also don't want to be held accountable for keeping them safe. Yes, that's what we want. You're a scumbag. And Doug Carter, someone needs to go find Doug Carter, the ISP. uh, Do an interview. Guy and say, hey, Doug, how, how do you feel about citizens being armed now? You still think it's bad for public safety? After the... Okay, what's not in here is after the debacle, the the complete and total debacle, and that's being nice, in Uvalde, Texas, where police officers stood for 87 minutes and, and checked their Instagram accounts. I don't know what they're doing on their phone. When children are being murdered 50 feet away and you're looking at your phone... The video that was released was 77 minutes. Oh, it was only 77 minutes. Okay. So there's... Facts are important. 77 minutes of video. That's just... the That's the video. That was released, yeah. Right. That doesn't count when he crashed the car and the officer had a shot at him, but didn't take it because he was afraid he might miss. Yeah. Oh, good thing you didn't do that. Good thing. No one is coming... It is up to you. You, you, I'm looking at you, have to be dangerous on demand. You need to get training. You need to have confidence in your own skills and abilities. Not the police, not someone else, you. And if you live in an area like New York where they say you must get down on your knees and beg us for permission and maybe we'll give it to you, leave or fix your state. And this is um, this is amazing. Would you say this falls into the category of irony, Jared? How we have law enforcement saying that's a terrible idea and citizens shouldn't be carrying guns, and then a citizen stops a potential mass murder because what were they going to do if that guy wasn't there Sit, like surround the yeah, the mall knows. while the guy walked around indiscriminately murdering people i want to know if he if he's a a pink ponytail freakazoid like the guy in uh in illinois do you notice the highland park illinois shooters picture just whoosh, disappeared Oof, it disappeared because the there. murderer in Highland Park, Illinois, was a left-wing woke freakazoid. There is no uh, picture or name of the shooter in this instance. Well, give him time. Give him time. Because this was just yesterday, right? Yeah, this was just yesterday. So it's a Sunday afternoon at a mall. Is that a place that uh, you shouldn't? And I, now, Mike. My question is there, Jared, does this mall have a no guns policy? Who knows? Most malls do. What was the name? Is it Green? Now Wood I've or heard or I've never actually seen a sign at a mall. Yeah, I've heard they exist. <laughs> have somewhere. you ever no. seen a sign at a mall that said you can't carry? I never have. I I've heard tell. And what they won't bring up because it will make them look stupid. You see, if they say, oh, well, the the mall in question has a strict no weapons policy. Well, did that stop the lunatic from the rifle from walking into the food court? Well, no, the 
the policies don't actually stop bad people from murdering good people. The policies stop good people from being able to defend themselves. Oh, okay. America's staggering murder rate. Again, if you remove the city of Chicago, the state of, Il- of Illinois, basically the whole state of Illinois, if you remove Chicago, Cook County, Philadelphia, New York, San Francisco, and most of New Jersey, from the stats, America's shooting murder rate goes way down. But we're not supposed to talk about that. What we're not supposed to talk about is the fact that more people were killed in Chicago last weekend than were shot in this mall, but we're not going to talk about that. Greenwood Mall says, while visiting, this is the code of conduct. The center is committed to providing an enjoyable shopping experience for our guests. While visiting this mall, the following general activities will not be accepted. Violations of the law, any activity that threatens the safety of our guests, tenants, and or employees, any activity that threatens well-being of the property, any activity that disrupts our pleasant family-oriented shopping environment, any activity inconsistent with the general purpose of the property, which is shopping, dining, visiting theaters, or offices for business purposes, any activity that would disrupt the legitimate business of the property and its tenants. Examples of specific activities that are prohibited include but are not limited to disruptive profanity, vulgar, or threatening language, Unnecessary blocking walkways, roadways, or storefronts, running, horseplay, or disorderly conduct of any nature, excessive loitering, operating unauthorized recreational and or personal transportation vehicles in the shopping center, no firearms or illegal weapons. What about legal weapons? The, uh, that's a good question. No firearms or illegal weapons. What's an illegal weapon? Nuclear warheads, I guess. How could an inanimate object be illegal or illegal? It's not an action. It's an inanimate object. It's a thing. So you want to juxtapose this. So the Indiana mall shooting. Now, on one hand, this is good because it demonstrates how hopefully a good percentage of America will read the whole story and say, wow, it's a darn good thing that 22-year-old was armed and stopped this guy. The exact same time this was going on in Indiana, just one state over Seven killed, 25 wounded in Chicago. Hmm. Is that national news today? Is that news in, if you don't live in Illinois or Chicago, is the seven killed, 25 wounded top headline of your local news today? Obviously, the answer is no. The answer is no, it's not. Because, well, we don't talk about that. And they were in shootings not just yeah i was like well maybe they didn't use guns <laughs> sh- shouldn't i mean they still died mm. right no so we had three dead which is terrible and two wounded which is terrible in indiana top news story nationwide seven killed more than double and 25 10 times the number wounded in chicago not going to talk about it why aren't we going to talk about it well two reasons number one we're not going to mention it because we don't want to talk about who's doing the shooting and we don't want to talk about the fact that chicago has all these super awesome fantastic gun laws and it's still not stopping the crime we don't want to talk about it because the democrats have been in charge of chicago for what a hundred years and they've run it into the ground don't want to talk about that so we're going to ignore it but the fact of the matter is when you put a line in a story that says the 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 plague of gun violence or the out of control gun violence or the da, 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 in america pull out chicago watch the figures go down pull out new york city watch the figures go down pull out philadelphia remove philadelphia trenton new jersey atlanta memphis san francisco pull those cities out those little tiny cities pull them out of the whole country and watch the numbers plummet into the basement see but the whole country has to be disarmed because democrat-run cities are shooting galleries 
Speaking of which, um, not today, but coming up very soon, we have a story um, where there's a company, a woke PC, never met a Democrat I didn't love company, that is being forced to close stores in Democrat run cities because their employees don't feel safe. Oh, what? It's crazy. So moral of the story today, crossbreed holsters, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, if you're a responsible adult human and you have other people that you're responsible for, this man, this 22-year-old just saved the lives of innumerable strangers. Innumerable strangers. I don't know if he had family with him or if he didn't. I don't know. But he, those, he saved their lives by carrying and doing what needed to be done. Uh, and being skilled enough to. And being skilled enough to put the bullets on target. All right. So, peasants, take heed, peasants in New York. Uh, you think that Supreme Court just slapped down New York State and said, hey, you cannot make people beg you for a constitutional right and new york's like oh yeah we're gonna make you last week new york said we're gonna make you turn over your socialist media accounts and we're gonna scrub through them to determine whether or not we're going to allow you (laughs) and it's like the supreme court just said you cannot make people demonstrate valid need or cause or whatever to exercise a right you can't make people beg for a right and new york's like oh you think so well story from amoland.com broke on the uh july 13th 2022 by john crump jared take it away Multiple leaks have indicated that any New York State pistol permit not issued by September 1st, 2022 will need to be resubmitted or updated to meet the new training requirement laid out under the recently passed Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Oh, the Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Oh, it makes it better. Yep. Multiple email leaks to MLN News have shown that New York State plans to shut down the permitting process on September 1st, 2022. (laughs) <laughs> At least until the division of criminal justice services and superintendent of state police come up with the details of the newly required and likely difficult training regime under ccia the estimated date for the training course to be designed and submitted to the state is a, for approval is april 1st 2023 that means that new york state will stop issuing permits for seven months that'll show you peasants you think you peasants think you're going to cry to the supreme court you think the supreme court's going to back you we don't listen to the supreme court we don't follow the law we do what we want we're new york new york state's proper clause proper cause clause (laughs) clause cause cause clause was struck down in the landmark united states supreme court case new york state rifle and pistol association versus bruin the court ordered that the state became become shall issue in justice clarence thomas's opinion the supreme court said that an individual right or individual has the right to to carry a firearm outside the home for self-defense new york state governor kathy hochel highly objected to the supreme court's program oh did she she highly objected a special session of the new york state legislature to respond to the court's decision in record time, the New York State Legislature passed a slew of new anti-gun bills named the Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Is that kind of like the, the, the SAFE Act that they passed in record time overnight with no debate, no public debate or scrutiny? We're just going to do what we want to do? The new anti-gun act made the Empire State more restrictive regarding carrying a firearm in public than before the Bruin decision. <laughs> New York State replaced the proper cause clause with a good moral character clause. Anyone wanting to carry a firearm in public must give over all their social media accounts to the state to review and give four character references. <laughs> you got to come up with four people to say, so it's a good moral character clause. I guess that means everyone in New York State government is disqualified. The state 
can reject the state can reject the application if they find anything questionable. Many believe that this cause violates the holder's First Amendment rights. You think? The new law also sets most state locations off limits to carrying a firearm. In addition to making most of New York State off limits to the concealed carry firearm carriers, the new law mandated a new training program. Applicants will will be required to undergo 16 hours of training, including two hours of range time, to complete what happens in the other 14 hours of that training. That's where they tell you what you're not allowed to do. 14 hours. They spend 14 hours telling you what you're not supposed to do and what you're going to go to jail for. You should spend way more than two hours of range time. In a oh, come on. You just think, oh, come on. Uh, to complete the training necessary for a permit, the New York State Legislature did not define what should be included in the training. And I don't think it's their, uh, to be fair, I don't think it's their responsibility to do so. And, oh, the and, state's always and, right, and you're wrong. Well, the, the legislature they are smarter it's than you. It's not their responsibility to do so. They're smarter than you. And they just included an arbitrary number of training hours that will be required. The legislature put the... Oh, here it is. Oh, I didn't read this paragraph in the last one. Last time I read this. The mm. legislature put the burden of developing the new training course on the Division of Criminal Justice Services and the Superintendent of State Police. Oh, well, we know that that person's not biased. Stop yeah. the issuing of pistol permits for seven months seems to fly in the face of the Bruin decision. Many will now uh, will see this move to stop the permitting process as New York State violating its citizens' rights to carry a firearm outside the home for self-defense. There has already been one challenge to the new lawsuit filed by Gun Owners of America just this Monday, which was last week, I believe. Yep. And this new move by the state will probably trigger even more lawsuits. Neither the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services nor the Superintendent of State Police returned Amelin News request for comment at the time of writing. No kidding. Oh, man. New York, if you live in New York, here's the deal. It's your fault. What do you mean it's my fault? Yeah, it's your fault. You allow this one-party Democrat tyrant control of your state. They're never going to obey the law. They're never going to follow the Constitution. This chick is just Kumo in a skirt. This, this, is, this is Kumo in a dress. That's all this chick is. She's a communist. She's an elitist. She's a scumbag. You have an entire state house and Senate full of scumbags, and you allow it to happen. Well, what are we supposed to do? There's New York and New York and New York City and the city. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Put forth a ballot initiative. Do something. Leave the state. I don't know. But if you leave the state, don't bring any of your East Coast libertarian or liberal East Coast liberalness with you. This state is run by criminals, and the people who live in the state are slaves. Oh, uh, no, you're not supposed to play that. So, thoughts on moving to Rumble? So, are we only one hour in? That's it? Yeah, we're right about at one hour. Are we right about it, or are we plus or minus? We're like plus 35 seconds. Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right, so uh, yeah, they just refused, and this it, this is illustrative of what happens when you allow communists, Democrats are communists, when you allow them to get in power. You allow them to, to decide that you are a peasant and that I know that you think that this Constitution thing gives you the right, but it really doesn't. We will decide you will beg for our permission and then we may or may not decide to give you permission based on how we're feeling that day that is not america that is not how a representative republic works but you've allowed it to happen you've had years to fix your state new york sorry not gonna let you off the hook i'm not gonna feel sorry for you i'm not crying tears for you guys you let this happen when Kumo illegally 
unlawfully, unconstitutionally pushed through the SAFE Act, you folks in New York, all you gun owners and blah, 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 you looked at us and you're like, shut your mouth, student of the gun. This is going to be overturned and it will not stand. And mama, my nana, my man, in Norma. We even brought a, a guest on. Yeah, we to brought give a, you instructions on how to yeah. do and what to do. It's been seven, eight years, and the SAFE Act is still in place, and it's not getting any better. It's only getting worse. So tell me what you're going to do. Why do you even want guns in New York? If you're just going to allow the government to be your master, cradle to grave, what do you, will you just want guns so you can play with them like toys? Is it like a toy that you play with? Is it a collector's item? Is it like, you know, Hot Wheels cars? Why do you even want arms? Why do you want arms in New York? If you're going to allow your government to treat you like a slave from the cradle to the grave, what's the point? Just an expensive hobby. Get a different hobby. Collect stamps or something. You know? Maybe get into NASCAR. <laughs> Who's your favorite driver? Uh, tomorrow, we have a, uh, well, tomorrow meaning Thursday. This coming Thursday, uh, we're going to have a uh, Student of the Gun University podcast number four. Uh, beginner's training is the most important training. Hmm. That's interesting given the, uh, the 14 hours of classroom that... Uh, even even tactical responses, um, justifiable use of force, uh, classroom port is not fourteen hours. It's like two or three. That's a, fourteen <laughs> hours is a long time to sit in a seat. Well, it, you sit and you listen to a guy with a PowerPoint drone on about you're not allowed to carry here. If you go here and you carry, it's a class one misdemeanor. If you if you carry your gun and you go here, it's a class four felony. Uh, you can't go here, and then you're not allowed to do this. And and uh, most, let's face it, how many of you guys have ever sat through a state approved, the state concealed carry class? Yeah, super basic. You, you come it's out on the other end, you're like, wow, your gun. no matter what I do, I'm going to be wrong, and I'm going to go to jail. I now, should just be fair, sell my says, gun and get a It says dog. including two hours of range time. It, two could, be, hours it could mean two of hours range. minimum. Minimum, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll be 14 hours of range time and two hours of classroom. No, no. The state, maybe they'll provide the, the ammo, too. The state highway patrol is yeah. going to be involved in the state police are going to be involved in it the stasi yeah, they'll gonna, bring their pallets of ammo so that the yeah students can use it and you no. don't have to pay for your ammo for the class it's going to nope. be all good nope, nope, nope. the stasi is going to be involved in writing the curriculum so you know it's going to be good now we are on the public in uh public hour mm -hmm. and i guess it's two shows now we do in one show so but this is the public show and we have new listeners so we do need to make sure that we inform people that we are not against training no that's we're not against we're training built, that's why we've built student of the gun university oh and uh we're moving forward with that putting a lot more effort into that so that we can help get you guys you, trained you know in student of the gun university and the university show episode three i taught top three mistakes that new gun owners make before going to training what's what's the one tomorrow uh, number four is beginning training is the most important training. Oh, nice. That's number four. So that's, 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 yeah, that's on good. Thursday. Yeah. So you guys should be listening and you should be sharing that. Uh, the Student of the Gun University podcast is short form, single topic, easy to digest. So the title is the show. That's what you get. The title is the show. So if you're interested in X, Y, or Z, then bingo, bango, bongo, that's it. Oh, oh, we didn't even mention um, just our our boy, Nicholas Orr. Uh, our buddy Nicholas Orr did a thing here this last week. Uh, he did a trilogy. So some of you guys have been kind of like dragging your feet. You're like, oh, I don't know about fiction, uh, you know, whatever. Well, here's what our boy Nick did. He took books one, two, and three, combined them as a trilogy. You get them all together. And let me, trust me. If you guys have listened to or re read the reviews of previous readers of the Operator series, 
Uh, most people will probably endorse that because they finish the book in two days and then they're like, when do I get the next one, man? What's up? So what you can do is you can get three, the first three books, book one, which is just the operator, book two, Sin City, and book three, Operation Diomedes, squished together uh, as a trilogy. It's called Field Ops. It's available uh, as a Kindle or a paperback right now on Amazonian.com. So uh, go over there and give our boy Nicholas or some love, you freaks. You're going to like it. There's actually reviews of the, uh, the trilogy of no of the the books oh i'm looking at the yeah if you look at the description of the book there there's actually a review of each book in the description and it's people just like you who have reviewed the book and and left their reviews uh let me see let me see description where is description read more all right uh book number one uh, a uh, Bonds, B-O-N-S, that's his name. Couldn't put it down. Read it in one night. I tried to stop, but I couldn't put it down. Very entertaining read, full of suspense, clever ending. Uh, book number two, uh, Michael Gibson reviewed it. He said, I thought all sequels were subpar and predictable. With most series, I tend to keep reading to live up to the first book and I'm truly never satisfied. With the operator being fantastic, Sin City lived up to it, if not exceeded it. Even though I do recommend book one, this book would be good as a standalone. Well, cool. Thank you very much, uh, um, Michael Gibson. Uh, thanks for making the really cool guitars and for leaving that review. <laughs> People are like, hey, did you just do a Gibson guitar reference? Uh, book number three, a uh, review by a guy named David Bowman. Uh, good dude there. Uh, thumbs up. Another great read from Nicholas Orr. Fast-paced, action-packed as usual. Read them all if you haven't already. So those are those are just some of the the reviews from people just like you for the new uh, and for the books. And the book's called Field Ops: The Operator Trilogy, books one, two, and three. It's available as either a Kindle or a paperback. Get it. Enjoy it, read it, learn it, live it, learn it, love it. Uh, our boy Nicholas Orr is putting out some really good material. He has both fiction books and nonfiction. He's got the Pipe Hitters Guide series, uh, which is very popular with the kids out there. the The kids are really enjoying that. <laughs> it's not just kids; it's everybody. Adult humans are enjoying yeah. it. But you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. So there you go. There you go. Uh, what has Paul Markle been doing? Well, Paul Markle, uh, with Student of the Gun, has been going all kinds of crazy. If you go to shop, SOTG.com. Oh, wow. Look at that. The Marshall application of the pistol book is available right now as a featured product. Well, what does that entail, Jared? Oh, let's see. The Fundamentals of Handgun Shooting, How to Run the Machine Like a Professional, Martial Tactics and Mindset, Sights and Optics on Pistols, Ammunition and Accessory, a full glossary of professional terminology, and much more. 30 years of knowledge and experience shoved into the pages of a book. Well, it's not the full 30 years. It's just uh, I can't give you everything. I try, but I mean, I can't give you everything. Eventually, you're going to come and have to, to sit at the feet of the master and learn. We also have on the Shop SOTG store, you can get the Precision Rifle Range Book, uh, which is uh, all about shooting a rifle in a precise fashion. We have the Student of the Gun Instructor Development Manual that you might want to put your hands on. Of course, all of the Patriot Fire Team books are out there. Uh, you should get those. And actually... Uh, we didn't have time to talk about it today, or do we? Do we still have some time to talk about this? Yes. All right. If you look in the show notes, boys, pull up a story. Your mom just sent me this in a text message this morning as we were about to go on air. It's about a, a church in California that's decided that they have to have security now. Okay. Where's that? Uh, I, I, I dropped it into the radio notes this morning, right as we were getting ready to do this. But where? uh slack oh in the in slack the radio yeah in the slack radio i didn't think we'd have time for it but since we do 
we, in case you guys haven't been paying attention, we have been doing a course, a distance learning program called Legion of Michael. It's a church security program uh, for three, four years, going on four years now, at least three years. Oh, I, one of the many hats that I've worn over my lifetime is I've been a professional bodyguard. I know a little bit about providing professional uh, executive protection and security. And I put all that knowledge into a program called the Legion of Michael. Now, if you go to legionofmichael.com, uh, you can enroll or you can get on the waiting list if, if it's not open right now. Uh, you can do that. And so there's a story. It should be the last, the very bottom one. Right there, yeah. Uh, your mom, like I said, your mom just texted me this this morning as we were getting ready to go on air. Um, yeah, a church in like California said that they never thought that they would have to do this, but now they're paying twenty. Does it say twenty thousand a month for security? I'm opening the twenty thousand right a now. year. U.S. houses of worship increase security after shootings. This is July 17th, so this is just this just happened. It's from Los Angeles. It says the Reverend Stephen Marsh never thought he would see the day that the church in Laguna Woods, California, a town of 16,500 populated largely by retirees, would spend would be spending 20,000 a month for security. Then That's a lot. Then a gunman opened fire on May 15th during a luncheon at Geneva Presbyterian Church where Marsh is a senior pastor, killing one and injuring five other members of a Taiwanese congregation that met there. Oh, we talked about this one. Yeah, we did. Officials said that the man who was motivated by political hatred against Taiwan chained the church's door shut and hid firebombs inside before shooting at the, ga the gathering of elderly church members. So he was. He watched Jack Ryan, and he just tried to copy what they did. Houses of worship are meant to be places of shelter, reflection, and peace where strangers are welcome. But the recent string of high-profile mass shootings in the U.S. is a reminder violence can happen anywhere, prompting some faith leaders to ramp up security. I'm glad that we finally realized that violence can happen anywhere. Wow. It only took literally decades. Well, we used to understand it, and then at some point in time, we stopped understanding mm -hmm. it, and then now we're back to, oh, this can happen anywhere. Oh, at wow. At Geneva Presbyterian, armed security guards now stand watch every day and during Sunday services, mm. every weekday, and during Sunday services. The church also is adding more security cameras, developing an active shooter plan, and applying for Department of Homeland Security funding. There you go. We're not trying to milita militarize the church, Marsh said. We're pray we prayed about it and made a decision to have armed security as an act of faith. You know what's sad to me? I'm going to tell you what's sad to me. It is sad to me that we have a church and the, the first thing that the church uh, goes to is spending money and getting money applied for a department of homeland security fund first of all that is the u.s federal government is a minion of satan if your idea is we need to go to the government and get money from them to solve our problem well how are you supposed to solve it paul you can't you gotta have money for for really it is it is sad to me that in 2022, that a church has to look, that a church body, that a body, a congregation, has to look outside of the congregation. That their, their thought is, we need to look outside of the congregation. We need to hire a mercenary company to come in and protect our people because the people here can't do it. And you say, aha, well, 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 oh, Jared, where is this? What state is this in? California. Oh, so can people in California get up in the morning, put on a gun, and go to church? Probably not. No, not unless they get on their hands and knees and kiss the feet of their masters and beg them for a for a may issue concealed carry permit and based on history how many of those are given out jared 
Um, I don't know. That would be very few. Uh, you remember the, the, the guy in Los Angeles? Wasn't it the chief of police in Los Angeles? When he took over, he said, he went through, oh, I love my brain. And he said, he's canceling. When he got in, he's like, oh, yeah, this previous chief gave a bunch of people these concealed carry. We're canceling that crap. I thought that was the dude that said. It was in L.A. No, I thought that that dude, I thought the new L.A. guy was the one that uh, was encouraging people. to. Well, it's either a share. I can't remember if it was a Los Angeles County or Los Angeles City. One of them is 100% against citizens, peasants carrying guns. One of them is 100% against peasants having guns. Uh, they went in. You guys, check me. You guys have been with me. And they started revoking and canceling concealed carry permits. Those few that got given out, mm, no. Here's the real story. Here in the Los Angeles Police Department, this is from March 28th, 2019. Los Angeles Police Department has moved to cancel most of the few remaining concealed weapons permits in civilian hands. <gasps> Chief Michael Moore said in a sworn declaration, declaration that he did not believe a group of people who obtained so-called CCWs as a result of a 1994 lawsuit were still entitled to the permits. Because it was unlikely that the individuals faced extraordinary physical danger to their lives. Oh, damn, I you? hate being right so much i do not believe continued wholesale allowance for each of for each to possess a ccw license based on circumstances that may have existed 24 years ago is in the best interest of the public so what you need to do wholesale is allowance you have to apply you have to see wait, wait hold on a second hold on i'm stuck on this wouldn't wholesale allowance mean that there are a lot of people that have a concealed carry permit. Well, more than there should be. There should be zero. And if there's more than zero, that's a lot. When you're an elitist piece of human filth like wholesale this here, allowance. when you believe that you are part of the ruling class and that you and your guys get to carry guns, but those scummy, lowly peasants, they don't get to because that's why you're here. Oh, I hate being right so much. So the in California, what is the it look to the government to be your savior? See, in California, God, Jesus Christ, is not your savior. In California, the government is your savior. The government is your master. You need to apply for a a homeland security, and you need to hire people, off-duty cops and whatever, to protect you because you, peasants, are not allowed. The government says you're not allowed to protect yourself. You can't. You have to beg someone else to protect you. Whew. Oh, I love my mind. You remember brain. the rabbi that threw the five guys chair at the guy that the pistol guy, the guy with the pistol? No. Oh, yeah. Well, was just, oh, this just reminded me. It wasn't me. really a five guys chair. Yeah, it wasn't. A five oh, okay. guys chair. oh, speaking of which, what's up with five guys? Have you guys noticed? Yeah, they, they got wood chairs. They heard us talking about them. They're actually, they're aluminum painted to look like wood, but. Oh, yeah, they weren't really wood. I they were aluminum that painted to look like wood. Uh, they, the really good, easy-to-throw chairs. We went into a Five Guys the other day just looking for trouble. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> hoping, that, hoping that a mother lover would. Because whenever I... I mean, I know who you guys are. When you go to a Five Guys, you, you, you're like, I wish, I wish a, a mother lover would. Because I got a chair right here. But uh, they, they got rid of really the lightweight chairs, and they replaced them with heavy chairs. I'm like, what's up with that? I want to be able to launch this thing like Brandon Frazier in The Mummy. That's what I want to do. You're like, is that a, did you just do a 1999 Mummy reference? I yep. sure did. I sure did. And that's why you're here. That's why you come to Student of the Gun Radio is for 1999 Mummy references. That's why you're here. It was 99, right? 1999. 
the mummy. Yes. Oh, I love my mind brain. Uh, hey, Zach, do we have any questions? Yeah, uh, somebody's like, why don't you get on Rumble check. instead of uh, an, uh, instead of YouTube? That was a, that was a legit question? Mm. It no. was a question. I don't know. Where did it come from? We do not have any. That was from that was a YouTube comment during the live stream. Oh. I don't know what the question was. It was, why don't you get on Rumble instead of YouTube? Oh. That's the question. We have no plans to get on Rumble, but we are on Juxi, J-U-X-X-I dot com. Because we partnered with the new standalone, doesn't rely on Google or YouTube platform, J-U-X-X-I. Be there or be square. Ladies and gentlemen, on the super cool bonus hour, Jim Douche Award. We're going to give out a Jim Douche Award. You want to be there for that? Bully Cops on the Loose. What is what? Oh, yeah. We got a leadership lesson for you, fighting fitness, and uh, what happens to you in New York if you ding a cop's car? Well, you just better not do it. Um, you better not do it. Uh, and and uh, it says here we're going to have an SPR discussion. Yes, strategic petroleum reserves. I, oh, I, okay. We're I did a, SPR. Uh, quite a bit of research to try to answer oh, the questions okay. that I had and some of our listeners had. I thought that I was learned like, some things. I thought that was like a, a super, nice super rescue. precision rifle. Yes. Okay. And then on Friday, uh, we were wrong. I was wrong. I, I thought that we should stop or slow down the number of bears eating people, but it turned out, no, nah, I was wrong. I, I say, go, I, I changed my mind. I'm like, let the bears eat the people. Yeah. So we got those coming up. Uh, if, if this has not been enough for you and you want more, if I left you hungry, if you're salivating for more student of the gun and you, you really should be, uh, Jared, how can they get more? It's super easy. Go to get S O T G dot com. That's it. Get G E T S O T G dot com. Follow the instructions. Yep. And then you can be there for the super cool bonus episodes on Thursday and Friday. Yes. Join the undergrad level and you will have access. Yes. Yes. Access to like-minded individuals, all kinds of information, big boy, big girl discussions. You want to be there. Trust me. All right. Until we are all together again in the same place, I want you to remember you're a beginner once. You're a student for life. We appreciate your reviews. If you haven't left a review or updated yours recently, head on over to Facebook, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast player to voice your opinion. Don't forget to join us at The Student Lounge, a place for like-minded individuals to learn, connect, and support each other. No chicanery will be tolerated. Remember to check studentofthegun.com daily for new free content and giveaways. Watch, listen, read, shop, and connect at studentofthegun.com. Are you a social butterfly? Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for new content each and every day at student of the gun watch student of the gun tv and videos from our trusted partners on roku apple tv amazon fire tv chromecast and even airplay go to studentofthegun.com for direct links and remember you're a beginner once a student for life